the cloud economy. So now that we have one budgeting, spend less than you make. It's actually very simple. Spend less than you make. Minimalism comes into play. There can be an extreme form of minimalism. Unfortunately, I have been, I have been, uh, what have I been of that? Well, I have been doing that, have done it. And you need to make decisions. What do you need? Now, what do you want? If you have a basic income, you cannot get what you want. What do you need? Mm. Gentlemen, I guess the, what? I guess the biggest, uh, the biggest help you could do for yourself is to learn to cook, because oh, that will yeah. drive that will drive your budget for food to be where where it needs to be. So every time I overspend on on like if I go over on my on my budget for the month, it's always almost always food, mm. almost always food. Yeah. So learn to cook and learn to cook. What's funny about learning to cook is that you're kind of being pushed to learn to cook well because you, you eat your own dog food, especially if you meal prep. If you meal prep like shit, you're going to eat that shit for the whole week, oh. which will motivate you to cook better. And then you're going to cook better the next week. So for me, like my one experience with cooking that I'm very proud of is it took me five weeks to get the chicken soup I want just right. Damn. So like, but that's good shit, man. And yeah, now you're a chicken soup professional. Yeah. Expert. Like yeah. for like I, um, how much money do I pay? So I pay the same amount I would pay for the week as if I'd pay that same. So, so the amount I'd pay for the ingredients and the gas and everything for a week's worth of chicken soup is equivalent to one meal out. Mm, That's how yeah. big of a difference it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you want to, if you want to budget, start with the food part because that's where people spend the most aside from rent. Um, but food is the biggest one. I think learning to cook is going to help. Guys, um, there's a really good video by uh, Gordon Ramsay, right? The, the best cook in the world. Um, Gordon Ramsay, where he has 50 tips of cooking. He's not teaching you how to make a specific recipe. He's just teaching you basic cooking fundamentals, like how to store food. Um, how do you save, like, how do you not waste anything? You know, uh, how to make a stock, like a basic chicken stock or beef stock, right? Bone broth. How to cook rice a certain way, how to clean certain, how to, how to you know, how to skin a fish or how to de uh, debone a fish. So many things that you may not know how to cook a specific recipe. But once you start watching that video, I think I'll put it in the chat. I'll put it in the mm -hmm. chat. Um, it'll help you at least know um, the fundamentals of cooking. It'll make cooking like five times easier. And that way you can just streamline your cooking. And on top of that, guys, um, when you go shopping for groceries, you don't need to get the most expensive ingredients. You don't oh, need no. to get. You don't need to get the filet mignon every time, you know. Uh, um, you can get it just, you know, the, the lower cut of meat. Beef steak tastes good anyway, right? So you don't need the. I mean, once in a while, maybe for a special occasion, you'll get a filet mignon to treat yourself. But like for the most part, you know, you don't have to get the most expensive ingredients. You don't have to get the most expensive bottle of wine or champagne. The champagne is like eight dollars here in the United States, right? It's not that expensive. You, you, you there are strategies, right? Just be smart and use your, you know, use your logic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, exactly. Like again, what do you need? This is where I think calorie counting and like at least knowing a little bit about your macros comes in handy as well. But the basics of food, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Proteins is most essential, of course. But what is going to be your carb source? What is going to be your source of fats? Carbs is an easy one. Rice. Yeah. Like this is, it's not only like very nutrient dense, but it's cheap as hell. It's just cheap as hell. Say whatever you want. You can get like a five kilo bags of rice yeah it's yeah. like here in the netherlands under five euros <laughs> so yeah. the families here would have like like a whole like i remember my grandmother used to have like a big tub like a big garbage tub of of, of rice mm -hmm. and that would be the whole thing for the for six months and that would cost because you because we buy the wholesale price like we'd pay like half the retail price per per kilo mm -hmm. so yeah. We have Chad in the in the video. What's up? Chad? Right. Maybe. Blessed be Habibi senteth by the prophet. Inshallah. Is he on? I think he's muted. Uh -oh. <laughs> he's he's keeping us in suspense. Oh, okay. Um, one more second, he's go boom. <laughs> oh, uh, the other thing Wait, I think can you hear me? can save on. Oh, yes, there we, we go. Can. Hey, Mish. Habibi, we can hear you. Are you safe? <laughs> Got to turn on my mic. Sorry, how's it going, boys? Yeah, good, Doing good. Well, man. How have you good. been? Yeah, well, I was dragged into some meeting and it took longer than expected. Ah, that's, oh, okay. that's okay, man. Those infidels ain't gonna catch themselves, man. <laughs> <laughs> how's everyone doing? Good. Doing We're just talking well. about uh, money. I don't know if you, uh, you know, you're a rich uh, Arabian prince. You know, I don't know if you can relate, but 
I'm the oh. brokest person in Saudi Arabia. Oh, he's Aladdin. That's, <laughs> that's, that's why you're like the still <laughs> wealthy European then. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about budgeting. Oh. We uh, we first tackled the subject of having an income, an income mm. at all. But now that somebody has an income, what do you do with it? Well, spend less than you make. How do you do that? You learn how to budget. Budgeting is, honestly, it's easier than it sounds. Uh, you just need a Microsoft Excel and mm. yeah. <laughs> just write stuff down. Bish is, uh, that's it, so you know what you're spending. Bish is giving their secrets here, guys. The real, se the real secrets they don't want to tell you about. Excel. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, you know, you, you can track everything that you spent, so you know what, what are you spending, because what I know is that people, they don't know how to track their budget. Hmm. They keep just spending stuff without knowing, and by the end of the month, they don't have anything left. So mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I use is that I have five bank accounts, uh, which is easy. You can open it online. I don't know if you can do that in your country, but over here, it's, you can do it online. Have one for the main income, whether that's your salary, uh, you know, your side gig or whatever source of income. Then put one for the, like, the monthly expenses, food, utilities, uh, you know, the, basically the things that you need to stay alive. Yep. One for the other expenses, like let's say if you have a student debt, you have, you know, you, you took a bank loan or whatever. And one for the savings, for the, you know, oh shit money, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That should be, you know, minimum 10% of your monthly income, minimum. minimum. Ideally, it should be, yeah, it should be 20% if you can afford it. And uh, one for the, uh, let's have fun money, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People need some R&R. &R. You bring up a good point with the like 10%. That is a principle like as old as time. Uh, I got it from multiple sources. The richest man in Babylon. Write this down, people. Here are some sources for you. If you want some like actual sources on this, go read Richest Man in Babylon, Poor Richard's Retirement by Aaron Clary, and of yeah. course Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I'm going to link up uh, Aaron Clary's books in the chat. Nice. Thank you. It's... And this is a principle I got from Robert Kiyosaki. Pay yourself first. Of all the things, you want to take that 10% for savings right away. Just right away. Because what that will do that is, first of all, it'll build your assets. Your, uh, Yeah, it'll build your assets. But second, <clears throat> it leaves you with less to do on bullshit. Mm. Now, Chad brought it up. Mish brought it up. Where it's like, look. You have that 10%, but then what? What are your expenses? You pay yourself for that 10%, but then what? Then it becomes what must be paid. Your debts. You want to pay those off as quickly as possible. Mortgage is a whole beast in and of itself, which I'm not going to get into. But do you have credit card debts? Something of that budget goes there. Go ahead. Credit cards are the first thing that you should close. It's, it's the worst debt that you can get. Oh, the interest alone. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and we'll get into that later, like mostly because of that interest, you want to get rid of it as fast as possible, because at a certain point, you will only be paying interest if you keep that open for far too long. Yeah, and they'll make a lot more money on you than the actual loan, like maybe tw even twice as much. Mm. And, so, call, yeah. and call the banks to have the annual fee waived. Jesus Christ. Those guys make a killing on annual fees. You better call. You have to call. 